Yeah, you can just imagine them before the Young Conservatives Party Conference thinking, oh, we need to say something that's going to make us sound like we're normal human beings and not posh, spoilt people in the Tory party. I know, mention Weatherspoons. Hi, it's me again. And yeah, the Tory MPs, they're trying to come up with stuff to make them sound like normal human beings and not posh, privileged Tories, pretty much. So I'm talking about weather spoons now. I mean, they do make a, a fair point, sort of, in this. Let's have a chat about it and we'll, we'll see what we think. Okay, but look at the headline. A Conservative MP has claimed that the UK will only have a big problem when pub chain weather spoons is empty. In a speech to the party's conference in Birmingham, Lee Anderson also questioned the existence of food poverty and criticised parents whose children go hungry. Really? Seriously? Just because you may not have experienced food poverty, Tory MP Lee Anderson, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You know, I've never seen an elephant in real life, but I believe they exist. I know I'll probably have seen one in a zoo, but you know the point I'm trying to make, right? And they criticise parents whose children go hungry. Unbelievable. If children, if parents' children are going hungry, some of it may be the parents' fault, some of them, you never know, right? I'm not saying that. But the main people to point the finger at if there's hungry children in this country is the government in power, which is, oh, it just happens to be your party that's in power, doesn't it, Lee Anderson? So why are you digging out the parents and saying food poverty doesn't exist when it's your bloody political party that's caused it in the first place, son? Unbelievable. Speaking to young Tories, the MP for Ashford touched on a number of other topics, including people who run food banks and the BBC licence fee. The Mirror reported that the ex-Labour councillor said, go in any Weatherspoons, that's the barometer of how this country is doing. When Weatherspoons is empty, we've got a big problem. I doubt you've ever been in a Weatherspoons in your life, mate. But for some of us, for some of us, me included in this, that's a night out. Now, I can't go drinking in expensive city centre pubs anymore. That over for me and until all this settles down or your government removes some of the tax on bloody beer. So Weatherspoons is where I'll go and eat once a week as a treat and have a couple of beers. That's where normal human beings like us go. You've never been in one, have you? Ever. Ever. I doubt you've ever been in one. Mr Anderson was critical of the media, who he accused of fear-mongering. He told the audience, whenever we put the TV on, people are telling us how poor we are. Because of your government. Your government's made everybody very poor. Indeed. Indeed. I have quite a half-decent, full-time job. Now I'm on my own, I've got to pay the rent, pay the bills and everything. I ain't got no money left over. I was doing all right a couple of years ago when I was with the missus. Not anymore. Not anymore, mate, because of your government. The backbencher described the UK's benefit system as generous and defended previous remarks that he has made in Parliament about food banks. He told the House of Commons in May that people could cook meals from scratch for 30p a day. Yeah, three packets of noodles. You probably couldn't even get them for 10p anymore. Because I remember you could get the instant noodles for 10p before. What the hell? Have you ever been to a supermarket, mate? 30p a bloody day. You are having a laugh. Having an absolute laugh. And the benefit system is generous, is it? All right, well, let's have an experiment, and you stand by your words, because an MP's supposed to stand by their words, right? Not that one ever bloody has. Please stand by your words. I want you to live for six months on the amount that benefits claimants get. Say you're on job seekers' allowance, right? We'll pay your rent, you can stay in your house, but we won't count that. Everything else you have to do for the rest of the next six months on benefits money, the amount of money benefits. And we'll see how well you get on with your 30p a day meals then. Why don't these MPs live in the real world? This is why no one likes MPs at the minute. You know, you've got people in charge who are deciding about money and the finances of the country, who have never run a business in their life, never had to pay wages to staff who have got mortgages and rent to pay, never had to worry about profit or loss. They're just career MPs. They don't live in the real world and never have lived in the real world. He told the gathering that he had worked with a local chef in his Ashford constituency to make 172 meals after spending £50 in the supermarket. He said, 30p Lee, they named me. That stuck, but in a good sort of way. He got people talking about food poverty. Yeah, I don't doubt that when you're making meals at that level, that amount of meals, then, you know, the bulk buying thing comes into play. But if you're just you in your house, or you're a couple, you're an old couple, for instance, you can't do that on 30p a day. 
You can't do that. It's not possible. You can't stick 50 quid's worth of food in the fridge and make two weeks' worth of meals from it because it'll go off, won't it? Most of it. Or it's not going to be fresh, good food. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's economy of scale, isn't it, to do it at that. But for a small household, no. No, it's not, it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, we've got some parents who just don't look after their children. I'm not ashamed to say that. He recounted stealing eggs from bird's nests as a child and recounted seeing one friend blowing the yolk out to eat it. When people bang on about kids being hungry, I've seen that poverty. I grew up in that poverty, Mr. Anderson said. I saw my mum and dad struggle on a Saturday night. They put their money on the table and then they'd be skint for the week. That's real poverty. No, real poverty is when you don't have any money to put on the table. That's real poverty. He said at the time he bought his first home in 1990, people would work 12-hour days, seven days a week, and take on second jobs in order to get on the housing ladder. You know, I have a full-time job, and I work six days a week, and I do rather long shifts, and it is not possible for me to enter the housing market. I'll be renting till the day I die. I do not earn enough money. It's ridiculous. I tried to apply for a mortgage. I did apply for a mortgage. Um, well, I broke out of missus a few weeks ago. I'll apply for a mortgage. It might be easier for me to buy than rent. Blah, blah. I won't bore you with all the details of that. Right? But for the salary I put in, the mortgage I could get, and I've still got to find a deposit for that as well, was £125,000. Now, I live in Essex. You can't rent, or you can't buy a garage for £125,000 here. In some terrible towns, there are some small places, and um, some not too terrible towns either, like Clacton and Jaywood and Clacton I'm sitting in now, for instance. You could get a nice little one bed for that. You're working your ass off for a grotty, grotty one bed flat, and it's all because of your government, mate. He also rallied against the BBC, telling his audience he doesn't watch it anymore and has ripped up his TV license, urging others to do the same. When they come knocking on your door, send them off. All right, fair play. That wasn't too bad. Wrong. Many of that was wrong. Oh, it said, just because he doesn't watch the BBC anymore doesn't mean you can rip up your TV license. You don't actually get a physical TV license anymore anyway, do you? So what are you ripping up? Your laptop. So, yeah, urging others to do the same. Good, that's what I do also. But it's not just if you don't watch the BBC. You can't watch anything that's been broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. When they come knocking on your door, send them off. Solid, solid advice. But yeah, don't be telling people if you don't watch the BBC to come see TV lines because then you're going to get a lot of people in trouble if you're not giving them the full information, aren't you? Just, to, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I can't find a politician I like. I can't, they're just, they don't live in the real world. They don't live in the real world. They're career politicians. They're so far removed from the real world. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So what do you think about this then? I'll put a link to this article down in the description. Can't have a look for it. So I didn't read all of it to you because it's not my work. It's, well, Coventry Live I'm reading this one from. But go and have a look at it and let me know what you think about the whole thing down in the comments below. Is there an MP you like? I, I mean, Farage is all right. And, um, you know, Farage has got more life experience than most of the MPs put together, hasn't he? He has worked in business. He has made profit and loss. He has had to pay wages. So he would know a bit more about it, but he's still privilege and he still doesn't live in the real world as many cigarettes and pints of bitter he wants to drink he still doesn't live in the real world with us does he he's just a little bit more connected to it than most mps but um yeah i don't know let me know what you think in the comments below and as always thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that way hopefully i'll see you in another video again soon why not ta-da